I'm Renee Barreno. I'm the head teacher of visual arts at Aaron School. The students get to work with a variety of materials here. Um, sometimes it's in a limited capacity, for example, paints, whether it's tempera or acrylic. Um, I don't buy like a full spectrum of paints, but I work with the basics with um, primaries, um, black and white, and I teach them how to mix tints and, um, and shades, and really teach them how to kind of create all of their own color bases and not be so reliant on things right out of the tube. So I want them to kind of build their, their strength and understanding in making something out of nothing. Um, having said that, you know, I have like all different kinds of sets of markers that they might use, like some are higher quality. So as students become more um, skilled, um, they have more access to different materials. Um, we do printmaking, uh, painting, drawing, mixed media. Um, mixed media is interesting because, you know, We'll work with you know hot glue guns. We'll either, we'll just work simply with like paper sculptures. We also have a, a focus on independent art, where students kind of let us know whether they want to work in pastel or they want to work um, in in ink. Um, if they want to do digital arts, and we give them that kind of freedom to self advocate for the kind of mediums that they want to work in. There's um, a couple of different focal points. Um, there's music um, in terms of instrumental music. Students are learning how to play handbells, ukulele. Um, some students play piano. And uh, there's also a choral aspect. So some students are working on vocals. And some student are, students are working on um, music theory and music history. So there's a lot of different components to the program. I'm also um, a practicing artist, so my approach to teaching art is very process oriented and I try to um, give my students that, that perspective in art making, um, not so much about the end product but about the process. And there's something that happens when I see them understand like and have ownership of the process and they are they're actually learning and it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a hard thing to quantify and it's a hard thing to write about or or assess and and the students recognize it so it's kind of an, an unspoken thing so when i i kind of see that excitement in my students when they are understanding or you know achieving a new level or um, or getting something meaningful out of working through an art piece that feeds right back into my own practice and it's really it's you know reciprocal and the more excited I'm about I get about working on my my own work I'll have an idea about something I want to bring back into the studio here at school versus my private studio this board's really interesting and in that um, all of these drawings have, you know, a similar feel because it's it's a, it's the same assignment, but this student um, approached it from um, really following the model that was presented for her, and so it's very much exactly what um, what was was given as the example. Um, afterwards, she did the blended background. This student made a completely different vase with a totally different kind of flowers, and this was something so different from anybody else's work in the rest of the class and he did it all from his imagination or maybe memory and he was a he's a new student that we weren't um, sure what his artistic abilities were like and this was a really good opportunity for him to just bring something completely of his own into an assignment and um, this one um, is a student's work who struggles with fine motor skills and hasn't been able to do something that represents something recognizable um, in the last two years. And so what I did initially was a very light pencil drawing for him. And then he went over it um, with his own pencil, and then he went over it again with Sharpie so that it was um, following the assignments 
um, criteria. And it's a really successful piece for him. He was so proud. And also, um, then he got to work with the, um, the, the blended pastel background and ended up producing a really nice piece. So this board's a really good example of students taking two different approaches to get a similar effect. Um, these three drawings, um, they did an exercise based on 30 second drawings where we would give them um, like a topic, like a traffic cone, a pear, and they drew all of those things all over the page. And then after it was done, they went through and they worked on blended backgrounds. This one, they started with uh, blended backgrounds, and then they did drawings uh, overlaid on top, and then went back and kind of emphasized certain parts of the drawings that they wanted to stand out. Um, and one of the other things that, that they were really working on was uh, pastels, blending of colors, and kind of getting acquainted with um, a sensory aspect of an art medium.